Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Zhong here. Today I would like to share with you the convolution property that is commutative. Commutative means the convolution process can be performed in any order and still produce the same result. This means that if you have the xt and the hd and xt convolute with the hd, it is just the result will be the same if you have the hd convolute with the xt. So this and this is we call it as a com convolution is commutative. So this means that um, it doesn't matter if you flip the signal xt or you flip the signal of hd. Okay. In order to find the convolution of the commutative system, you need to use the formula. That is the yt equal to negative infinity to infinity, x tau hash t minus tau d tau. So this is actually a common convolution formula. Okay, so x tau hash t minus tau. Alright, so this uh, commutative means that you can use negative infinity to infinity hash tau x t minus tau d tau okay so this is we call it as a commutative properties and you need to use this formula for the conversion process okay if you look at here you have a uh, x uh, hash t minus tau so you need to Flip the signal first. Okay, flip the signal. This one also the same. Flip the signal. Okay, now let's look at example. If you have the xt equal to ut and hash t equal to u, an exponent negative at ut and a is more than zero so again you use the formula this formula okay so you have the yt equal to formula negative infinity to infinity x tau hash t minus tau d tau okay so you substitute so you substitute for the xt and hash t so now you have x tau. x tau is what? If you look at the question, this is the question. If you look at the question, x t you change to x t you uh, uh, x tau. x tau is for the x t equal to u t, right? So you change to u tau. And then uh, for the hash t minus tau, so you substitute the t to t minus tau. So you have e minus a t minus tau u t minus tau d tau. Okay, based on here, actually you can notice that uh, the tau here is substitute the tau here is substitute with tau okay so means that no substitute no need to substitute this remain only the t minus tau here the t the the tau is substitute with t minus tau Do you understand? Maybe I should uh, explain in this way. Okay, if you follow this formula, you follow this formula, you do you and the given question is x tau and a, a x t and a hash t. So you change the x t to x tau and change the hash t to hash t minus tau. Okay? And then the t, the t here is changed to t minus tau. Okay, let's look at the next. 
so this part is for the x style and this part is for the hash t minus style now you draw because there is a uh, integration between u tau and u t minus tau and what is the output right so you need to draw what is the limits you need to get the limits so the limits this is the tau so this is u tau 1 okay u tau is from 1 to infinity and then you need to how to draw u t minus tau if you are not familiar with the ut or negative t then that is better you draw one by one for the first time all right so this is the u tau the second one you need to draw negative tau because if you look at this one is ut minus tau so it's a negative tau so we i draw i draw the uh negative tau first okay so u negative tau it should be from here 1 to negative infinity okay and then if u t is the 1 to infinity then u negative tau is 1 to negative infinity then what about negative 1 negative tau negative 1 negative tau is like this is 1 negative 1 to infinity because it's the negative 1 then you okay 1 so negative 1 negative tau means that you have obtained this one so you change to negative so you ch change to u t minus tau so you obtain this one t so u t minus tau you obtain like this so this is the n graph this is the u tau and then this is u t minus tau Okay, once you obtain these two graphs, okay, u tau and u t minus tau, you multiply, okay, because this one and this one, you can multiply. So, what is the outcome? u tau multiply with u t minus tau, is it equal to? Okay, this one u tau min multiply with u t minus tau for... You, we don't know the t value, right? So we assume that for t equal to less than 0. For t less than 0, it's actually like this. So when u tau multiply with u t minus tau, we get 0. Yes, correct. So for t, more than 0, this means that we have this one. more than zero so it's like this for t more than zero what is the outcome yes we obtain one okay we obtain one so now we only able to find the answer with value for t more than zero so say y t equal to zero uh, in integration zero to t, okay? Zero to t. U tau multiply with u t minus tau, and then exponent negative a t minus tau d tau. Here, okay? From here. Okay. Now is Okay. U tau multiply with U T minus tau you get one and then you remain is this one.
so exponent negative a d is the constant so you get a positive a tau okay positive a tau then you integrate you integrate the exponent a tau so you get 1 over a exponent a tau so the answer is 1 over a 1 minus exponent negative a d alright do you understand? ok regarding the u uh, negative uh, u t minus tau let's say if i have uh, okay if i have u minus tau minus 1 okay if just now is uh, u t minus tau you get the graph like this what if i have negative tau negative 1 okay how to do this kind of graph you have uh, two method the first one either you reverse first okay you reverse first you and you will get u negative tau you know this one right okay to infinity and then shift so if you shift you have u negative tau negative 1 okay so what do you get so when you shift you need to uh, factor out the negative so it's t plus 1 so t plus 1 this means what t equal to minus 1 t equal to minus 1 okay and this is the uh, first method let's say you have second method then if you want to do the shifting first if shift first so you will get u t minus tau so what is the graph for t minus tau T, uh, t, uh, sorry, t minus 1 so for t minus 1 you get t equal to 1 so 1 to infinity and then reverse reverse means that it's a flip the flipped up version of the u t min tau minus 1 so it's a flipped up version So you get negative 1 here. So this is u minus tau minus 1. Okay, now I uh, understand how to get the graph of this negative tau. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.